Uh, my name is Sarah Fairbanks, um, and I'm an Adrian Dominican sister, and I've been in the congregation for 33 years. My biggest <laughs> struggle was how could I give up marriage and family life? I mean, I, I had dated, I enjoyed the intimacy of those relationships, and, um, and thought that, that having a family would, would also be um, a really good experience. Um, and so I went back and forth on that, um, and I and and really, um, God said to, in prayer. God, God's basic message was, "Whatever you choose, I'm going to love you no matter what you choose." But what do you? What's your deepest desire? So I it really took me a few years to come to that, um, and I I know that if I were married um, with a family, that would really um, narrow my life for me from my perspective and um it would have been because of who i am it would be hard for me to you know be wholeheartedly dedicated to wife and mother and having a job on top of that um and having time for prayer where was that ever going to fit in you know it was kind of um and i i knew how much i um i had a gift for contemplation and i knew how much i enjoyed prayer and that time for prayer as well as study and i wanted to do ministry and i always had a whole lot of friends you know i always had this uh, extended community um, and i had done a lot of volunteer work besides and so i really enjoyed that part of it and i thought you know i'm gonna go with this it's, it's kind of counter-cultural as it seems um, and, and not many people are really talking about, gee, should I join religious life? Um, it, it really did uh, capture my imagination and uh, it was meeting, I really was experiencing my intimacy needs met in prayer and in the friendships that I have. I mean, it's not like religious life cuts you off from your, your sexuality and your, your desire for relationship. I mean, that sexuality is the energy for relationships, and it's just a different way of living it out. Mm -hmm. And same with generativity. I mean, you know, our, our ways of um, bringing new life into the world are, are many. And so I knew I could experience that creativity in uh, my ministry. The one piece of advice I have for people in discernment is first of all, live your life to the fullest. So don't stop dating <laughs> just because you're discerning a call to religious life, because you want to have some experience to really look at and examine and say, well, where is my energy? And how did I feel in that um, relationship? Was it life-giving? Was it meeting my deepest needs? Um, and, and so you have to, not only do you have to stay fully um, involved in all kinds of different things in your life, you want to develop your prayer life, no matter what, because your prayer life is going to work for you in, in whatever you choose. So you want to develop your prayer life, that relationship with God, and really see, is God calling me to um, this kind of a relationship? Um, and, and this way of life. Get, get involved in service um, and in different ministries and, and just, just I, live your life to the fullest and have a lot of different experiences so that you can really sort things out and have a good sense of what lifestyle is really going to bring me the fullest life.